Hello, I am Shabana this side and today I will be discussing in short about uh, a case of postpartum voiding dysfunction and there is a new talk uh, article on that and uh, this case can come in exam either as simulated patient task or a structured discussion. So if it is simulated patient task then how are you going to counsel the patient? So you can tell her Sara, from the history and information which I have gathered, most likely you are having a condition known as postpartum warning dysfunction. Have you heard about it? In this condition, women have difficulty in passing urine after childbirth. Some women may not pass urine at all. It's a common condition. It can occur in about 15 to 25 in 100 women after delivery. Regarding the cause, exact cause is not known, but it is more common in women who have delivered for the first time uh, if they had prolonged and difficult labor, whether, and if they were delivered by instruments like forceps, if they received a cut down, uh, which was episiotomy, that is a cut down below, if they received pain relief in the form of injection in the back, that is epidural, or it can happen because of physiological and hormonal changes in the pregnancy. I would like to tell you that it's a treatable condition and if managed properly, most women can pass urine normally. Am I clear so far? So regarding the further management, I would like to offer some test, that is urine test to check for water infection. If there is infection, we will be offering you the antibiotics and if you have pain, we will offer you the painkillers after ruling out allergy. Also, we will offer you a tube which will be inserted in the bladder to check how much urine is inside the bladder. Or a bladder scan will be done by the scan specialist to assess the amount of residual urine in bladder. So regarding further management, this will depend upon the amount of urine. If amount of urine passed is less than 250 ml, then you can void after 6 hours. If there is moderate amount of urine, that is up to 700 ml, then we will insert tube in your water pipe for 24 hours. Then ask you to void after 24 hours on your own. If there is large amount of urine, that is more than 700 ml, we will insert tube in your water pipe and this will be kept for two weeks or more. You can go home with this tube and then we will offer follow-up appointment after two weeks to assess your condition. If you are still having difficulty in passing urine, then we will offer appointment with the water works specialist. Regarding catheter care, the nurse will teach you how to take care of the tube, that is catheter. Also tell her about the warning signs, the red flag signs, that Sarah, when you go home and if you have fever, flu-like symptoms, tummy pain, if you notice any blockage or kinking of tube, inform us immediately. For that, we will be giving you the 24 into 7 contact numbers. Also maintain hygiene, take daily showers, drink plenty of water, keep yourself as mobile as possible. This will help to reduce the risk of clots. In many women, condition improves with these simple measures. If your condition will not improve, appoint, we will arrange appointment with water work specialist. And right now, I will be arranging the urine test, give you the written information leaflet, write back to the GP about our mutually agreed care plan. We'll also discuss about your case with my consultant and uh, also discuss about the contraception to so that you can avoid any unplanned pregnancy offer you the support group number and the contact numbers for clinical access feel free to contact us anytime and we would be happy to answer you back any questions no thank you so in short this is about the management of women with postpartum warding dysfunction again you have to uh, take a note that you're not going to use any medical jargon in simulated patient task but if it, it if it is a structured discussion task then yes you are going to use all the medical terms okay so 
hope this helps thank you and all the best take care bye